Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code with Afiz. My name is Afizullah Masudi, and today I'm going to show you guys how to update in single page applications using Laravel and Vue.js. So let's start, guys. But before we start, I want to say, guys, that if you didn't have subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for support and do not miss any updates or more uploads from me. So let's start, guys. Open the project in your text editor. In my case, it is uh, Visual Studio Code. So let's go to Resources, Views, and or not Views, guys, JS Component and Welcome Component. Because our edit link is located in this component, as you can see, this is the Welcome Component. So what I'm going to do is instead of this href, let's remove this and create a router dash link and for the text let's say edit and it should go to well let's also bind this to and inside here let's declare our curly brackets and let's give it a name so the name should be edit and comma let's also pass some parameters so params and our curly brackets well we want to name this param or first parameter id which is employee dot id we are getting the id from this employee object let's also give this router link a class so give the class of btn btn dash success now let's create this Vue.js route in our routes file. So open your routes.js and in here at the bottom, let's copy this route and paste it here. Let's give it a name also. So name should be, let's say edit. Well guys, uh, when you want to give uh, a Vue.js route, a name so it should be in inside this single code so grab this one in inside single code also because it won't work so the path should be edit and we also have id coming so slash colon id and let's also name our uh, component so let's name it edit yeah that's fine now let's duplicate this one and import our edit component also. So edit component and its name is edit. Now the next part is guys to uh, create this edit component. So let's open our create component and let's say control shift s to save us. And we only want to change this create to edit and say save so let's check it out how it looks like so if i go back to the browser well before checking it out it won't work because we are not running our yarn watch so let's open a cmd or command prompt window let's first navigate to our project folder so cd dot dot slash dot dot slash ramp 64 slash www slash laravel view and now let's say yarn run watch now if we go back to the browser let's also open our inspect element and now let's say refresh and as you can see when i hover over this edit button at the bottom you can see we are passing the id and when i click on this yeah we are getting the id so our code is working just fine now according to this id now we want to grab the employee information from the database so let's get back to our text editor and in this edit blade or not blade component first let's remove this form data because we don't need it and instead of that we want to create an object by the name of employee which is an empty collection after that in our methods section let's create another method called get employee Inside this method, let's say axios.get. 
and for the endpoint let's say get employee slash we also want to grab the id from the url and pass it here so how can we do that let's first say class because we want to concatenate so let's say now this dot dollar sign route dollar sign forums dollar sign id and after that let's say dot then response which should equal to curly brackets now we want to uh, save or store the response into this employee object so for that we can say this dot employee equals to response dot data let's also uh, show the response in our console so console dot log response dot data and after that we can declare our cache so catch errors equals to curly brackets console dot log and errors now let's create this endpoint in our routes file so let's go to routes web.php and at the top guys let's duplicate this one and for this let's say get employee let's copy this one and paste it in here well one thing more guys alongside with passing the id like this we have to declare an edit uh, also in the url because if i show you we have this edit in the url so it is already in the url we are only uh, making a change in our next url by saying to get employee and if you don't put the edit slash in here your route or link would not work so this one should be get yeah that's good and don't also forget guys to declare a where clause in this any route so let's say arrow where any equals to all the pages and if you don't do this if I refresh here yeah you can see it's throwing an error but if I go back refresh now I said it oh that's the error is about something else it says cannot read property name of undefined let's see what is the problem so edit component yeah let's say this this one is employee and this one is also employee and this one is also employee now if i go back refresh yeah you can see now i hard reload but our page doesn't go and if i remove this any this where clause from here and save the file and now if i refresh you can see page not found so this one is so important guys don't forget to declare it now the next part is guys that we are not getting our data because we didn't uh, write the code for in a, inside our controller so now let's open this employee controller and create this get employee method so let's go to app http controllers and employee controller and in here at the bottom let's say public function get employee and we have id coming from the url so let's create a variable called imp which should equal to employee model column column find or fail the id after that we want to return our response the json and we want to pass the imp variable now if i go back and refresh well we are not getting the data so let's get back refresh and edit again let's hard reload let's terminate our command prompt process and run it again so now let's refresh our browser again well, it's not working yeah it's not working well, let's see what is the problem so let's go to edit component and this is our employee 
we are getting the employee yeah uh, a silly mistake guys we have to run this uh, function and mount it or create it functionality so at the top let's say mount it and curly brackets and inside here we have to say this dot get employee now it will work if I go back refresh yeah you can see we are getting the data and it is showing in the console also so if I go back and click on this one yeah we are getting the data about that specific employee so our code is working just fine now the next part is guys to click on this create or let's also change this create to update when we click on this button we have to update the data so let's get back to our text editor and first let's say this one should be update and instead of create let's say update also now let's create this update method will we already have this create in our edit component so what we can do is edit this one instead of create let's say update and the method is post that's good instead of create let's say update slash we also want to pass the id so we can get that from the url this dot dollar sign route dot forums dot id and this time instead of form data we want to pass the employee collection so the other code is i think just fine so now let's create this endpoint in our web.php so let's go to web.php and let's duplicate this one instead of get employee let's say update and this one should be update and leave the other url as it is so now we should create this update method inside our employee controller so let's go to employee controller and in here at the bottom let's say public function update and we have request coming from the form so request dollar sign request comma we also have the id in the url now inside this method what we can do is copy everything from the create or store so let's copy this and paste it here the only thing that we want to change is this new instead we can say employee model colon colon find or fail the id and i think that's good to go so now let's go to go back to browser and check our code if it works so let's refresh let's say this jack has been updated updated and let's say this one is updated also and click on update yeah it says laravel edit update not method not allowed well if we go back to the text editor go to this web.php yeah this method should be post change it to post and it will work so let's get back refresh let's say updated this one is updated also and this one is updated too so click on update yeah you can see everything has been updated successfully so guys i hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned from it so if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't also forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel do not miss any updates from me so this was enough for this video guys and see you guys in the next video